Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to apply the previous learning target of I can calculate the midpoint of a line segment on a coordinate plane. In this problem, we are asked to calculate the endpoint of a line segment given the coordinates of one endpoint and the midpoint. So if you recall from the previous lesson, we learned that in order to calculate a midpoint, we have to take the average of the two x values, so x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and the average of the two y coordinates, so y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And this is equal to our midpoint of this line segment. So we are going to apply what we learned here in order to solve this problem. We're going to go ahead and substitute in everything that we know. We know that the endpoints have the x value of negative 9 and the y value of negative 1. And we know that the midpoint has to be the ordered pair 8, 14. So we're going to go ahead and just substitute it into our midpoint formula. So our endpoint, one of the endpoints, our x value is negative 9. We don't know the other one. So we're just going to leave that as our second x value. And we know one of our y values is negative 1, but we don't know the other. So we're going to just leave that as our second y value. But we know that that's equal to our midpoint, which is 8, 14. So our goal is to figure out what is the x and y value of our other endpoint. What we can do is set up two separate equations. So let's first start by looking at the x values. We know that negative 9 plus some x value divided by 2 is equal to 8. Our goal is to figure out what is that other x value. So to do this, we can solve this using inverse operations. So we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. And we will get negative 9 plus some x value is equal to 16. And then we're going to go ahead and use inverse operations one more time. We're going to add 9 to both sides. And we will get that our x value is 25. We're going to use the same process now for our y value. So taking a look, let's go ahead and set up an equation with the values that we know for y. We have negative 1 plus some y value divided by 2 is equal to 14. We're going to use inverse operations just like before. Multiply both sides by 2. And we're left with negative 1 plus some y value is equal to 28. Go ahead and using inverse operations, add 1 to both sides. So we get the y value of our endpoint must be 29. So what we've just found is that our other endpoint must be the ordered pair 25, 29. However, we can check this. So as a check, we're going to go ahead and substitute this endpoint with the original endpoint into our midpoint formula to see do we get the midpoint ordered pair to be 8, 14. Going ahead and substituting this in, we've got negative 9 plus 25 divided by 2 for the x coordinate and we've got negative 1 plus 29 divided by 2 for our y coordinate we're going to go ahead and simplify so negative 9 plus 25 is 16 divided by 2 and negative 1 plus 29 is 28 divided by 2 simplifying both of these we get 8 comma 14 so our ordered pair is 8 14 which checks what we originally wanted to find nice work